just so you guys understand, back in 1993, right, you had um, trucks that were loaded with explosives that were parked in the basement. And the goal was to basically knock the basement down so the building would fall upon itself, right, and fall, uh, fall down. Um, in, in 2001, they did this again. Now, I know a lot of y'all are like, wait, what are you talking about, Myron, et cetera? A bunch of people at the crime scene, including firefighters and witnesses, guys, all of them say bombs went off in the in the first floor and in the basement level of the World Trade Center. Now, I know a lot of people, the conspiracy theorists out here are going to say, wait, Myron, hold on. But it was controlled demolition. They put dynamite in all the floors before, blah, 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 which we're going to talk about that later on in more detail. But the thing you guys really need to understand is it's pretty much verified at this point that there were trucks parked at the bottom, right? Just like the 1993 attempt, okay? And that would play a critical role with the building falling on top of itself. And there were other factors as well, which I can't talk about here. There were, in fact, bombs in the basement, as said by witnesses. And then on top of that, which was not reported in the news, the police and the feds did find a truck loaded with explosives in the basement that did not go off and you guys do not hear about this in the mainstream media uh, just moments ago uh, i spoke to the chief of safety for the new york city fire department he received word of the possibility of a secondary device that is another bomb going off uh, he tried to get his men out as quickly as he could but he said that there was another explosion which took place and then an hour after the first hit here with the first crash that took place he said uh, there was a, another explosion that took place uh, in one of the towers here according to his theory he thinks that there were actually devices that were planted in the building the second device he thinks he speculates was probably planted in the building and you were working there as yes well. i was right there i was in the i was down in the basement came down all of a sudden the elevator blew up smoke i dragged the guy out his skin was hanging off and i dragged him out i just saw an airliner going to one of those towers then uh an hour later than that we had that big explosion but much much lower i don't know what on earth caused that we've heard reports of secondary explosions after the aircraft impacted whether in fact there wasn't something else at the base of the towers that in fact were the coup de gras to bring them to the ground Collapse. Do we have do we have Jim Smith available on microphone from Chopper Two as he takes these pictures? Jim? Yes, I, I am here, Michael. Oh, Jim, tell us tell us what's happening out there. Oh my We gosh. just witnessed some kind of secondary uh, follow up explosion on the World Trade Center number two, the one that is on Everybody. the south that is difficult to make out. As effective as a bomb being dropped there, there were two bombs in effect. Commercial airliners flown into those two buildings and they came down. We presume because of the initial explosion, there may have been secondary explosions as well that were detonated in the building by these terrorists. And that would put us about a block and a half away from uh, the site of where the explosion was. That area has just been uh, evacuated because uh, police have found what they described as a suspicious device. And they fear that it might be something that could lead to uh, another explosion. Obviously, there, there, there's a real sense of caution here on the part of police. I spoke with some police officials moments ago, Chris, and they told me that they have reason to believe that one of the explosions at the World Trade Center, aside from the ones that may have been caused by the impact of the plane with the building, may have been caused by a van that was parked in the building that may have had some type of explosive device in it. So their fear is that there may have been explosive device planted either in the building or in the adjacent area. Think of one went up to the lobby first, then a plane hit the building. Then another plane hit the other building. And but when I was coming through the doors on the other side of the Trade Center, something, either they blew the lobby up, or something because it blew the glass out of the doors and knocked us all down and I got a uh, smoke and everything on me. I just feel a little shook up because I got blasted, you know. So. The ladies that are with me were in the World Trade Center on the on, in the first building and escaped through the lobby where they report they believe there was a bomb in the lobby. And even the turnstile was burnt and it was sticking up and they just told us to run. And as we were coming out, we passed the lobby. There was no lobby. So I believe the, the bomb hit the lobby first in a couple of seconds in the first plane hit. And all of a sudden it sounded like, I don't know where the subway is, but it sounded like a subway collision, a bomb, and it, it, it was just pounding, boom, boom, boom. And I, I literally thought the subway had exploded and, and all the cars just went on top of it. It was just so loud. I was actually in the subway heading towards the World Trade Center right around Franklin Street 
And after the first explosion, the subway station started to fill with smoke. The subway cars started to fill with smoke, and the subways actually stopped. Now, that's the first time we're hearing that. So two planes and explosives that were in the building, is that correct? That is the working theory at this point. That is still unconfirmed. That is what the FBI is going on at this point. Uh, the New York City Police Department has a report <laughs> that the FBI is responding to New Jersey because a truck reportedly uh, loaded with explosives has been stopped by authorities on the road there, and... Um, the men with that truck have been detained. Uh, members of the Joint Terrorist Task Force, according to the New York police officials, are responding to question those people. Um, I want to underline that uh, all the phones uh, to police headquarters and to the FBI uh, from here seem to be disabled. They arrested them. Those two men and their explosives are in police custody tonight, and another tragedy has been averted. Still alive in the rubble in and around the World Trade Center. And word late tonight that two suspects are in FBI custody after a truckload of explosives was discovered around the George Washington Bridge. That bridge uh, links uh, New York to New Jersey over the Hudson River. Whether the discovery of those explosives had anything to do with other events of the day is unclear. But the FBI has two suspects in hand, said the truck uh, load of explosives, enough explosives were in the truck to do great damage to the George Washington Bridge. But they arrested the two suspects and they're questioning them as we speak and that it was near the George Washington Bridge. There were two or three men who were in the van. The van was pulled over. Uh, it is not clear why the van was pulled over, but when it was, uh, law enforcers found uh, uh, tons of explosives inside of the van. George Washington Bridge, Marsha. Well, you know, Todd, it's really an amazing thing. Most of New York City's rescue operations and their police and fire departments have been concentrating their actions down in lower Manhattan where the planes, two planes, hit the two towers of the World Trade Center. But some very um, intelligent and aggressive cops also stopped another terrorist attack from happening on the George Washington Bridge. CBS2 has learned exclusively that two men are in custody tonight after being arrested at the George Washington Bridge with an entire truckload of explosives. The FBI has now put out a nationwide APB all points bulletin for a white Chevy van with New Jersey registration written on the back is urban moving systems. You're not going to find this stuff anywhere else on YouTube, guys. But look at that. All the witnesses saying that there were explosions on site at the time. And the reason why you know that it's real is because. Obviously, at this point, there was pandemonium. No one knew what the hell was going on, but everyone remembers that there were explosions there. Now the narrative's been written where no one says anything about explosions and trucks with bombs in them, etc. On purpose, on by the purpose. way. On purpose. So it's been cleaned up. But, of course, you know, shout out to Ryan. He had VCRs going at this time recording all this shit. So he has a save. But y'all ain't going to find this nowhere else, man. So it, see, and guys, the reason why we're, we're playing this for y'all is because you can't find these clips on YouTube anywhere. Because the thing is, back in 2001, this is all taken right around September 11, 2001, which I know some of you guys are like, wow, the potato quality. Keep in mind that these are old clips from damn near to over 20 years ago, right, when the attack well, just happened. <laughs> all right. So first we went over, obviously, introducing who Ryan Dawson is. We went over the 1993 World Trade Center bombing and similarities between that and what we just covered in 9-11. We went over the 1999 dry run by Saudi uh, individuals that uh, were basically trying to, you know, kind of replicate the 9-11 situation that went over to the money movement involving two Saudi terrorists that ended up being in the plane that hit the Pentagon. Uh, and then we just went over pretty much irrefutable proof that there were explosions, as said by witnesses and even the news at the time back in 9-11. And this story broke out, uh, I think, right around 10.45 p.m. or so and 9-11, where they caught two individuals in a van filled with explosives. Now, if you guys want to know who those two individuals are, it's time to switch over to Rumble at this point, guys. We're going to kill the YouTube stream right here.